Depression is is extremely common. As we as we mentioned, it's it's for for a third of patients, it's the first symptom they get of their Parkinson's. Um, but about 35% of, of patients will will have clinically significant depressive symptoms, and um, depression in Parkinson's uh, leads to a decrease in quality of life, independent of motor deficits. And it's, it's important to to emphasise that depression is not directly related to um, to motor impairment. So someone can have very mild impairment and very severe um, depression. Um, and similarly, someone can have very severe uh, motor impairment and not, not experience depression. So it doesn't correlate. Uh, it's, a, it's a separate issue. Um, and it very commonly occurs along with an anxiety disorder. So it's more common than not, 65%, um, that people who, who experience uh, depression, a major depressive episode, will also meet the criteria for an anxiety disorder. So what are we talking about when we talk about uh, major depressive disorder or major depressive episode? We're talking about a syndrome, a syndrome that's present for more than two weeks. So it's normal to experience distress, to be uh, sad at times, uh, but it's, it's different if we're depressed more days than not for more than two weeks. But it has to be accompanied by a, a cluster of other symptoms and these include difficulty um, getting pleasure from things that previously would have given us pleasure. That's what we refer to as anhedonia, um, a change in sleep, uh, guilty ruminations or worthlessness, loss of energy, poor concentration, a change in appetite and psychomotor retardation or slowing down of the motor system when some people speeding up of the, uh, the motor system, psychomotor agitation and suicidal ideation. Now, to complicate things, in Parkinson's, some of these symptoms can be physical manifestations of, of the, the disease. So they, these are the criteria that we use for people in the general population who don't have Parkinson's. Um, and complicating this is that uh, things like sleep, energy, uh, appetite, psychomotor retardation, they can all be, be features of Parkinson's. So you'll see a variation in, in prevalence, and there's a bit of a debate about um, how we should, uh, there's a bit of a debate about the criteria that should be used to diagnose depression in Parkinson's. Um, but we're going to be focusing on uh, depression or melancholy. And uh, this, is about as ex this is about as exciting as this talk gets. This, the, the, uh, the, the slides are all pretty boring from here on in.